M changed my life, you know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't have to believe in my sound so much in Kamikaze. The fact that he did, I'm forever loyal to M. So you got a problem with him, you got a problem with me. I'm like, all right, that's how we gonna rock. I'm gonna give M the hardest beats I can find. Stan, Stan, son, listen, man, dad isn't mad, but how you gonna name yourself after a damn gun and have a man bun? So when I originally started the beat for Killshot, it was actually for gigs. He always asked me for like these horror movie beats. That's what I was thinking when I made the Killshot beat, it's just something mean, gritty, grimy. When I realized it was gonna go to Eminem was the morning that MGK dropped Rap Devil. Fuck rap God, I'm the rap devil. Come a bare face with a black shovel like the Armageddon. When the smoke settled, his body next to this instrumental. You know, I was in Miami with my girl on vacation celebrating Kamikaze, and I see Eminem, MGK diss. I'm like, what? So I clicked on it. I'm like, damn, you, that's how it is, Ronnie. You know what I'm saying? Right away, I went into my folder and try to find like the hardest beats possible. And then I sent him like two beats. It was like eight o'clock at night. I'm like, yo, I sent gigs some crazy shit, uh, hit gigs. And he told me what beat he used. He didn't use that one. So I sent it right away. Like, yo, here's, here's one more. So when I first started Killshot, the first sound I used was this piano that I found from um, a loop pack from two dope boys. It was the chord progression that really stood out to me. It was really theatrical, like some Phantom of the Opera. I wrote automation on it to make it breathe a little bit. It gives it like a pumping effect. I usually do a hi-hat after I do the melody, but this time I wanted a snare. I knew I wanted something with a lot of pop to it. I added this plug-in sausage fattener. Makes it really stand out in the mix. Once I felt good about the snare, I added a couple of hi-hats. This is the first hi-hat. But it didn't go with the rhythm of the piano. So I didn't want all that. I just wanted the triple effect at the beginning, just to give it a little bounce. Second hi-hat was a lot more involved. I picked two of them because the first one is, is short and it has a tripled up effect. Then the second one, has like a reverse symbol after the first triple up effect. So it it, it gives the, the, the track rhythm. I tried like four different kick patterns, but this is the, the one I uh, finally decided to go with. Once all the drums were there and the, the sample was moving like I wanted it to move and everything was fitting together like a puzzle, I was like, all right, perfect. Now I can go and do my favorite thing, the 808. You know what I'm saying? That thing. It's hitting in between the kicks and it's actually following some of the rhythm of the sample. So there's rhythms that somebody likes technical can just jump all over. Since I didn't use a lot of sounds in this beat, I used the ranging to build the, the drama and, you know what I mean, build the crescendo of the beat. I took the sample and then I half-timed it. This is the sound by itself, and this is it with it on. It gave it a dramatic breakdown and he used it perfectly. I added my tag. Then I was like, all right, this is perfect. Definitely somebody I looked up to as a lyricist. Like I think pretty much everybody who's a fan of rap is a fan of Eminem in some light because he's like the top technical lyricist ever. You know what I'm saying? And he's on the Mount Rushmore of rap. You can't take him off there. The great said it. Jay-Z, 50, Kendrick, Kanye, everybody that we look up to has said he's, you know what I mean, top five. For me, this has been like it's the biggest blessing that I've ever experienced, you know what I'm saying? I'm forever grateful, forever loyal. Had enough of this tatted up mumble rapper, how to fucking him and I battle? He'll have to fuck him in my flannel. I'll give him my sandals, cause he knows long as I'm shady, he's gonna have to live in my shadow.